Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Excuse me. And uh, having some more coffee this morning. Decided to stick with the PlayStation 2 and pop in Dark Angel Vampire Apocalypse. I have never played this before, uh, but it looked kind of cool. I don't know. Um, or at least the the cover art does, and the I don't know where I put the box. There's where I put the box. So the box is very stylized, though. It's one of those. I know this game does not look like that. One, it's because it's from the PS2, and two, because it's got a very. I don't know. Everybody is. Uh, Everybody on the cover looks like they're starving. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's... It's a miracle. We must all work together if we are to win our freedom from them. Ooh. Oh, there's time in this. Oh. oh. This is very mashy, in case you can't tell. Get that small child out of there. Oh, did we just kill? We just, we failed to save a child. If this is all this game's gonna be, jump button. That seems pointless. Shoulder buttons do nothing. Right stick does nothing. Yeah. I don't know. I go to Ride Garden? Eh? Whoa! Resurrect my dudes? Will they get back up? Uh, 
Who makes the... How do I heal? Do I heal? Doesn't look like I do. Bullets? I don't know what the gun seems... I don't know. Oof, I'm gonna die. Everybody's dead. I've got a sliver of health. And I'm dead. I will rise again. Me. Okay. So maybe I'm not supposed to go there yet. Okay, what if I go here? Oh, oh, really? Sure, I'll use a mace. Piercing vampires and ghouls. Okay, all right. Bomb. Throw the damage. Okay. Uh, ooze, magical resource. Power gem. Defend Rangard. Okay. So, I guess I do go there. All right. So now that I've got a mace, which actually does more damage in theory. Let's oh, yeah. Way more effective. Once again, why did the screen get dark? Oh, because it's dark. Got it. Tingonar? Tingonar. The bad guy sounds like a Teletubby. This is the game, looks like. Yay. No. No. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh. So this is where I get stuff. Got it. Oh, so just kill everything. Got it. Can't kill a rock. 
useless. Alright. So it's a Diablo clone. Sort of. But. Oof. Okay, that music's really weird. It just kind of wanders in whenever it feels like. So, the, this menu, so you get here by pushing select, but when you push select again, you come here, and then you have to push X to go back to here. That is terrible game design. If you push start, you go right here. So I can push select twice, get to here, or I can push start once and get, what, oh. Did my guitar, yeah. Yeah, look at that, level up. This is... Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into this more because there's... It's... Oh. Who designed this? Metro 3D, whoever they are. Okay, so I got a new shirt. Leather armor, leather armor. Push X to equip. Sure, whatever. Wait, the little lizards fire homing missiles? That's not okay. Sticks does nothing. Up, down, the D-pad is completely non-functional. Okay then. Oof. Sorry, I try. I normally try and be like, "Hey, this game has uh, good stuff," but this is just kind of. Was that, is that it? What's the yellow thing? Hmm? Something I didn't get. That's it.
Sorry, it's very hard to watch the mini map and watch other stuff at the same time. Oh, there's a whole nother way I can go here. Got it. What was that? An axe? Looks like. Bonus damage to mutant, chop, crawler, and devolved. Sure. Nope. That's going to get annoying. Oh, there's the way down. Okay. Oh, yeah. That works much better. I started playing Saints Row the Third last night, and I forgot how just how much joy that brings me. And it wasn't even like I didn't get very far, but I was just having a blast. Because I just got to the the opening part where he jumps out of a plane, or he or she, sorry, the boss, where the boss jumps out of a plane, jumps, like dives through all kinds of nonsense, jumps back into the plane, and then back out and recatches Shandi. I will say, though, it's a little, um, so playing, yeah, that sword. So I decided to play a, a female character this time, and don't really know why other than just want to try something different. And I had my wife sit there and create the character with me because she's better at, like, making a female character look good, whereas me, I'm just like, ah! I put the stuff and I hit random until I go, hmm, good enough. But it just, I don't know if it's the fact that I played the game as a guy, as a male character first. So now I have that like set in my brain of how the interactions go. Or if it's the fact that I chose to play the the British boss, which means everything sounds weird now. Don't know. Chop 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 chop. Chop 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 chop. I thank any of you who are still watching this, because this game is... Oof. And I didn't have a backup game plan, so... I don't even have something to switch to. Uh, we've been going for nearly 20 minutes, though, and we have not seen anything new. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, we'll go ahead and call it here. Let's see what else I have picked up. Um... Another level one axe, another level one saber, another level one saber, another. Okay, ammo. A pistol, which I already have. Another level one axe. All right, so let's let's take a brief moment, and maybe I should start doing this before we get going somewhere. So let's go to Wow. Okay. So, th I found some of the story, and 
I, I, I know that it would make more sense to read it in the in a world that kind of voice but the the writing just gives me this impression so I'm going to do it uh, I don't know you'll get it in the world of Dark Angel you control the avatar of Anna a champion who protects the weak from the forces of evil Anna is a mysterious young woman who possesses heroic strength, intelligence, and health. Her strength grants her the ability to deal tremendous melee damage and resist melee attacks. Anna's intellect allows her to make more potent magical attacks, resist magical forces, and aim projectile weapons with inhuman precision. Her health allows her to take a huge amount of physical punishment before she must rest. And it gives her a powerful spirit so that she can channel magical power into her attacks. So we now know that they have stats. To so I, I can't. I can't, I, if someone picked up Dark Angel, Vampire Apocalypse, and it was their first game, first video game ever, A, I'm sorry, but B, reading the, so there's, a, the, it's like it's explaining, this is under Anna, and it's like, to view Anna's strength, intellect, and health, press select, and move the silver arrow pointer to highlighted Anna. A pop-up window will appear and show Anna's statistics. So, ba, 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 ba. there we go. So she, like the the history of the character, is telling me about gameplay options. This is, hmm. um. And I mean, they don't. <sighs> yeah, that didn't. Does the manual not even explain? Melee weapons. Projectile weapons. Acquiring and selling items, exploring the world. Um, yeah, so there's a. I mean, it talks a little bit about the bad guy, but it doesn't ever dart. Whatever. Mm, if you encounter a monstrous fiend on the twelfth level of the necropolis who kills you quickly, go to the lost city and gain some experience and new items. Occur. What? All right. So the manual is part manual, part hint book. It is not telling you at all about the lore. Something I'll have to look up on my own time. Uh, but that's it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me while I drink some coffee. Eventually I'll get my camera set back up and you can actually see me. Um, next week. Next week maybe we'll play some Tekken. Or Bratz. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you want to watch. Uh, but uh, thank you very much for watching. And as always, play on. <laughs>